Now in its ninth year, this is GabNet, the great American broadcast network. Talk like you've never heard it before. Live from Harlem in New York City, it's Alex, that's me, with the Ramble. And we'll be here until midnight tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, that there is a guy named Chuck Farnham. I've known him for how many years have I known you now? The mid-90s, um... 40 years? 30 years? 40, really? That long? And then we didn't talk to each other for about 20, right? Exactly. Yeah. Which is as it should and, be. I and now we can't shut up. Now you huh? can't. Now we can't shut him up. Right. Yeah. He used to be on my morning radio show as one of the cast members. In fact, I just, saw a, I just saw a bus board they made up. There's Alex Bennett. He's happy now and whatever. And with Lori Thompson. And then it said, and now featuring... Larry Bubbles yeah. Brown and Chuck Farnham. I have that bass that 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 uh, bus back. Yeah, I've got one here. Yeah, yeah. So you know, I, I can mean, mail you that junk if you need it. No, I I have a copy of it. I, so I'm, oh, I can't good. remember who sent it to me. There were there were two versions of that. The original one didn't have your names on it, and then the one after that did. So. I may have Lucky gone. Up. I may have gone in and demanded it. You know, yeah. Like I always demanded that any time they did any kind of a billboard for me or whatever, that they put Lori Thompson's name on there too, with Lori Thompson. Yeah. It was a group effort. You know, I mean, a weird, sad, sick group effort. Yeah, yeah. I mean, my name was always Alex Bennett with Lori Thompson, and then yeah. featuring Chuck Farnham and. Bozo and Bozo, Bozo. Right. yeah. Yeah. And that's exactly where both of us wanted to be. Exactly. We didn't want to be too responsible. You know, when somebody says, hey, you're in trouble, I go, hey, my hey, name's not on the, the show. Hey, when the show, when they cancel the show, I'm the one that gets fired, okay? Yeah. Not you guys. Yeah, they keep everybody else. Huh? Yeah, they'll keep everybody else. Yeah, right, right. And I they wouldn't want to do they, it. They, they, yeah, got, they got rid of I wouldn't of, do it with you and not, you know, yeah. some random... Well, they got rid you know, of me, and then you were gone, and Bubbles was gone, but Lori stayed. You know, right. Didn't and I think her. Lisa stayed, too. Yeah. So, you know. And didn't they bring in, uh, 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 what's his name in the pork pie hat? Um, Johnny Steele. Steele. Yeah. That, well, that was, the the first, that was the second time I was fired. First time I was right. fired, they brought in this uh, shock jock from... Uh, from where do you call it? From um, San Jose. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I wasn't there then. Huh? That was me. Yeah, I can't remember the name. That worked out really well, apparently. Yeah, it worked out well for them. I came back after three months, and they said, "Can you can you go back to work for us?" <laughs> you know. Yeah. So, yeah. The show was good. It was what it you know it was. Oh, when I when I, I was thinking about that radio show. And people say, "Well, what was the highlight of your career?" And I would have to say it was that show. It 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 was a nice look at a dysfunctional family. Yeah, every morning, every day. Yeah, every morning it was. You know, people were like, "Well, why are you working on this and that? Work on what?" The the tomorrow show starts when this one ends, and we all leave the the house, as it were, the station. And go out into the real world, and you and I go to lunch or dinner or putz yeah. around or, you know, whatever. Well, I, and probably, then, I probably hung out with you more than, say, I was talking to Lori yesterday and mentioned to her that we didn't really hang out a lot, Lori and I. And there was no yeah. reason to. I mean, she was my wife for four, four hours a day. Right. You know, and, and so I didn't really need to. You know, and I was like pig pen down the street. What? And I was like pig pen down the street. It's like yeah, but you would hang out with me. You would come over to my place and hang. I would come over to the house and we would just wait for Feldman to call on the telephone and just start rattling off jokes. I remember those days and just shaking our heads, going, 
David, what's wrong? What's wrong, David? You can't use that material. That's not good, David. <laughs> oh, no, he had, it's funny, there are certain comics who have material they would never do. Yeah. And Dave would do those when he called the house. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It was great. But, yeah. you know, I think it worked out well. And I, you know, I honestly think it could it could work out in any format, even today, with this particular group well, of people. Uh, I don't know. I I I I talked to uh, people like Lori again, and, and question whether we could do that show these days, and and even get away with it. It it would definitely have to be different and more um, less political, maybe, or there'd be a political segment, and everything else would be like it used to be, or something. Well, I mean, like I, I for instance, I, I um, you know, uh, just having a studio audience, no radio station would let me do that. Right. You know, so that's for it starters. Definitely, and the, the, the folks that were in the studio audience, the regulars, were as much as, as that show as, you know, you and me and Larry and her, because, I mean, Tan Man and... We created personalities out of the people in the audience. <laughs> I still want to find Larry Sandwich. Where is that guy? Larry Sandwich. There was a guy who always brought us sandwiches, right? In the morning, he'd take orders. I had no idea what this guy did. And finally, he comes up and he goes, can I get your order? And I'm like, order for what? Larry, aren't you just here to see the show? And he goes, uh, yeah, but I, I get everybody sandwiches. <laughs> he felt so Larry bad sandwich, ordering a sandwich from the guy. I'm glad you remember Larry Sandwich. Half that stuff I don't remember. Yeah, yeah, Larry Sandwich, Tan Man, Dr. Miller. Dr. Miller? Who moved out uh, east there. Wow, you're, you're, um, you're, you're bringing back memories to me. I don't, I, yeah, those were names um, I had forgotten completely. Steinberg, remember her? He, who? Uh, Steinberg, uh, um, God, I don't know her first name. I can't think of her first name, Steinberg. What did uh, she do? Uh, sat there in the audience in the front row. Wow. And like every day. Yeah. A lot of people went in there and then went to work. Um, uh, we had uh, Larry from uh, Roller Derby. Larry, Larry Stahl. Larry Stahl. He from was the Bay Bombers. He was, yeah, he was. <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah. I got giddy. I got giddy when I found out that Larry was part of that studio audience. Because as a kid, I, I really worshipped Larry. <laughs> Really? Because you follow you followed roller derby. I did. I followed roller derby with my grandpa, and and when I found out that the Larry was there, I was just like, "Oh my God!" It's like Elvis has entered the building, you know? It was, it was a big deal for me. <laughs> like, "Oh my God, Larry!" And he's still selling uh, cell phones. I think at uh, Saramonte or El Sabrante. Uh, he, yeah, he's uh, in fact uh, Bubbles buys his cell phones from him. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, and I think Rube did too. Bubbles, by the way, this is a great story about Bubbles, his latest thing. So for four years or ever since I've been doing these things with him, he's only done audio because he never had high-speed internet. Right. So I can never do with him what I'm doing with you, which is quite simple, by the way. Okay. Right. Today it's nothing. So I did this with him, and uh, <laughs> um, uh, so I kept telling him, would you please get high-speed internet? Please get it. He said, well, they haven't put it in my building yet. So we were going for like four years where I just do the audio and I put up a picture of him while it's on. All right? Right. Finally, he gets high-speed internet. He says, they're putting it in my building. I've signed up for it. They gave wow. me, they gave me a free month. Of course, so that's how long he's going to have it. Absolutely. As soon as the <laughs> month was over with, he got rid of high speed internet and he's back to dial up. Of course he is. Why? That's our Larry. Why? He's Larry. Why? He's Larry. That's what Larry Come does. On. You, you you just your internet is on all the time. The whole world is out there for you to explore. And you're not taking it because, well, it costs too much and it, I didn't like it. 
Yeah. Well, That's this is the same guy. I, I said, you only did this because you feel you have a reputation to live up to. Yeah, the lowest possible denominator possible. Yeah. This is a guy who gave away his car to a, a girl he met at the punchline, and they put it in a cargo ship and took it to Germany. His car? His car. Wait a minute. What car was next, that? Next time you talk to him, bring up the girl from Germany in her car. Because <laughs> every time I run into him and other people as well, we'll Larry will be talking. We'll go, Larry, we're still pissed off about the car. <laughs> yeah, like a Camaro or a Trans Am. I think he still has a Camaro or a Trans Am or something. Uh, he sent one to Germany. In a contar in a container ship. He sent it. Yeah, the well, the girls, the girls' dad, I think, paid for the container. But Larry drove it down to the dock and off it went. That's Larry. I mean, you can't. In a nutshell, that is Larry Brown. You can't go. Oh, gee, that was stupid. No, 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 no that was Larry. That's oh, what he was boy. doing. No oh, boy. You know. Can't you can't really fix that? It would not be the same guy, <laughs> <laughs> you know. And like he's a bit unhinged. Yep, yep. In a good way. No, you, I mean, you never but have I, a bad. I told him. Man. I said, you know, you 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 didn't you turned in away the high speed internet because it would ruin your reputation, right? Yeah. You know, I and I, what do you say? I couldn't figure it out. No, no, that it was I don't think that was money, it. It Alex. sounded to me like he was perfectly comfortable with it. He just, I just never set him up with Zoom, okay? Well, has he, has he ever been perfectly comfortable with anything? That's the question you should ask. Uh, He's know, always it, a bit it's, tentative. It's funny about Larry. Now, folks, we're talking about Larry Brown, who does this show all the time, every week. And you can see his stuff online and everywhere. You can see his stuff online. He's probably one of the funniest comics around. Did and we love this guy. Look at, look at his Larry. two shots on Letterman, and you see how good he really could be on television. And I told right. him all the time that he did very good on Letterman. Uh, although, yeah, he, here's another part of his myth. He did Letterman. Right. He did a great set. This was on right. Late Night with David Letterman. I think I think I know where you're going with this because I was going to say this. They, they, they did go a great ahead. set, and what happened? He climbs on an airplane and flies home because he wants to watch the show on his TV. No, that I don't remember. Oh, yeah. He flew home so he could watch it. On his own television. Rather than stay at a hotel paid for by the Letterman Show. By the Letterman Show. Yeah. Well, that's not what I remember as being oh, the biggest okay. thing about this. I thought that was So weird. they say to him, get together another five minutes and come back on the show. We loved you. 20 years later. He came up with another five? Went on, went on the Letterman show. 20 years spread between, I think the largest spread between two performances on on, on David Letterman. And I he, said... And he's great. Huh? He's great. Yeah, and I said to him, I said, you know, the reason you're not one of the big guys is you love doing comedy and you know how to hone a great act, but you really don't know how to publicize yourself. Right. And no, how he to push to yourself. Be the middle. He how to, to push be the middle yourself. guy. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. He's, a, he's a great uh, opening act for comics. They love him oh as God. an opening act. So great. You know, some of the greatest people in the country use him. Yeah. Uh, uh, Dana Carvey uses him all the time. David Tell, uh, Norm MacDonald. There's some, uh, I think, Spanish act or yeah, yeah. Latino you know, act that he opens up for. <laughs> Going, that, that you, guy, yeah. you do they get you? <laughs> you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he I was said, like, yeah, for some reason they do. You know, I'm opening for you know whoever that guy is, and I'm like, I had to look the guy up, and I'm like, what kind of circus is he involved? Well, in? also, I, what I said was the, to him, the main reason he's been successful in his career as a opening act, not the but it, that's where you have two two acts and you have the main act and you have him if right. he's usually the middle act if there are three people okay right 
uh, I said the reason why you're the setup for the for the star of the show, and why they love having you is you don't spoil the room. No. In other words, their acts that spoil the room. Uh, guys who play guitars spoil the room. Guys right. who do magic spoil the room. Guys who scream and shout spoil the yeah. room. I mean, Goldthwait went directly from opening act to, to star, and not because he was right. great, which he was, but because he was loud. And really loud. And nobody wanted to follow him. No. And not because he was good, but because he was loud. So, you know, and, and uh, Lewis Black told me, he said, you know, he, 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 when I finally met up with Lewis here in New York, he said, you know, I was on your show in San Francisco. And I said, God, I don't remember. I, he probably was. We took a lot of comments yeah, yeah. coming through. Everybody. And he said, yeah, you wouldn't remember me because I wasn't shouting back then. I wasn't getting outraged on stage. And so, therefore, mm. one day somebody said, you know, you'd have a great act if you just started screaming. So I started screaming, and all of a sudden, the next thing I know, I'm a star. Mm. You know? Uh, and I, I said, isn't that always the way? You know? And he agreed, you know, that it, the people who shout are harder to follow. Yeah. Yeah. Makes yeah. sense. So, I will never pass up a chance to see Larry perform. Yeah, I just the, the guy is, a he's just such a sweetheart, and b it makes me laugh every time. And let's face it, we've seen his whole act many, 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 many times. Yeah, and it still makes me laugh. Also, so. the, another another comic who's my favorite, I think, is is uh, Slayton. Right, uh, Slayton is as good a stand up as you will find anywhere, and yet he's quit the business. Yeah. He says, or or Rube, Rube, on an on night is insanely funny, and I could just sit there yeah, for the hours. Problem and watch is, it. The only problem with Rube is I saw his act on uh, TV. He did one special right. that wound up on Netflix, right? But only because uh, what's his name? Um, oh, uh, Patton. Uh, P Patton Oswald, Oswald. Uh, gave him the shot. Okay. It followed one of his specials. It was on the same right. thing. And I watched it, and really, in the 20 years since I saw his act last, maybe 25, it really right. hasn't changed. It hasn't evolved. Yeah. You know. Did you ever. Go ahead. Uh, and Bubs hasn't evolved, but Bubs has a. He does have new material all the time. Right. You know? And. Um, <laughs> Uh, did you ever see the Rube show where he, I think he did the other cafe where he brought his home bedroom set to the stage there and and before they let the audience in he climbed into bed and they had all these opening acts and and they performed and performed and performed and then all of a sudden they, they turn the lights down and they go ladies and gentlemen Bob Rubin and he gets out of bed. He'd been laying there in the bed for like three hours. <laughs> I can still make myself laugh by thinking about that bit and how calculatedly weird it is and how you have to pull that off just at the right moment. And nobody knew he was in the bed that whole time. Yeah. Brilliant. Well, I mean, and I think I, I still respect Rube as a comic. But he didn't. He didn't go where. Where I think Bubbles. If I went and saw Bubbles act today, it would be a different act than I saw when I left San Francisco. You know. Yeah. Because he gets usually new, when I his new usually material. Usually when I walk in to see Bob, he go. He'll he'll say to me, "Do you want me to do the joke?" And I go, "Dude, of course I want you to do the joke." You know, his the, his bit about his favorite part of a date. This is when he closes the trunk and pushes the car into the lake. That's one of them. The other one is yeah, the and best I, part of my the best part of my time having sex is when I pay without leave leave without paying. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's just it's a beautiful, beautiful thing. And, and, and his new I, his opening line in his act now sets him up completely. I often said to him, uh, the first line you say in your act is usually the thing that sets you up. In other words, you you got to make them understand 
who you are and what your sense of humor is within the first right. five minutes. Otherwise, you're dead. And I said, you're you, right. ha you have something that sets it up. And he says, yeah, that first joke I always do. And I said, which one is that? And he said, um, uh, the other day I had my identity stolen, and now somebody else has no life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. That, you know, that sets it all up in a that, nutshell. That, that is him. You know. Uh, but, you know, yep, I uh, worship the guy. He's so good. Oh, we should get right. him on here with us, and we can... We can go through his Yeah, but all we're going to do is see a, a picture, an animation I created. Oh, that's right. Larry, I'll, I'd say I'd go over to his house, but we know how that works. Yeah. We'll have to get him out in public somewhere. Yeah, yeah. I'd like to get him in front of a camera sometime. But yeah, that's what I mean. I'll have to go over there and stand out front of his place and yell into the door. Yeah, yeah. But uh, I also have a thing I do with Michael Snyder, who was the movie reviewer yeah. on our show. Yeah, yeah. And he's still as bad at re re reviewing movies as he used to be, you know. And uh, I have a, uh, so you're still talking to him? Yeah. What's he doing? What's he doing now? He can't still be reviewing movies. He's for years he's been trying to get animated films made, and I I can't name one that he's gotten made in all those years. But I, I do have a I do have a Michael Snyder story. Him and I were at the Great American Music Hall one night. Mm-hmm. Yoko Ono and Sean are going to film something there. Mm -hmm. And somehow I ended up with a ticket. He was there. The only two people we knew that who were there were me and him. I don't know. And we're standing there, and I go, well, why are you here? And he goes, because this is going to suck, and I want to be here for it. And I go, I just, yeah, I'm thinking so too. And Yoko started singing, and this was right in the middle of the grunge era, right? Sean is playing grungy guitar, and Yoko comes out and starts singing, and we both looked at each other and went, she doesn't sound half bad. And I go, who are you going to tell that to? And he goes, nobody. I don't want anybody to know that I think that she sounds okay. And I go, yeah, me either. What's up with this? He goes, this has got to be the only night she ever did not suck. I go, well, I, I, it was you know, very I, I, you know, I understood years ago what she was trying to do with that singing, with that screeching and all of that. You know? Right. Uh, it sounded and, good. And this is when I knew them. And I right. went on the radio and I said, you know, Yoko, you may laugh at what she does. I said, but someday a lot of people are going to be doing what she's doing right now. Right. And a few years later, along comes Lena Levitch. Right. Doing essentially the same thing. And everybody loves Lena Levitch. Yeah, and, and that and, night. And uh, John, in some interview he did, said there was a guy in San, New York, didn't say my name, uh, who said uh, that uh, someday everybody will be doing what Yoko Ono is doing right now. So he quoted yeah. me on saying that. Uh, and I, I honestly believe that. And I never thought she was talentless. I, I thought the, her biggest talent was as an artist. And I think that kind of get, got left behind when she became the wife of John Lennon. Right. But, I mean, she was a really terrific artist. In fact, I did an art. I did an artwork work with her. I can't talk these days. An artwork with her. Uh, oh, wow. The, 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 she got a bunch of people she knew. She was doing a thing up upstate New York, up in Rochester, someplace like that, where it was going to be an exhibit of things with water in it. And so we okay. had to supply her with something to fill with water. And so I, I'm, I'm trying to think, what am I going to do? What am I going to do? And I'm sitting in my office at, uh, at uh, WPLJ, and um, my wife is there with me. And I go, what do I do? And I look over, and somebody had given me a bowling ball. Okay. And I figure it's got three holes in it. You can put water in it. There you go. So I walk this bowling ball up to uh, what was the hotel, the big hotel here, in, a big hotel, fancy hotel here in New York, the Pierre, something like that. And, and I drop it on the front desk, and the clerk looks at me in this fancy hotel like I'm a nutcase dropping a bowling ball on the desk. Right. And I said, could you please deliver this to Yoko Ono? And they went, oh, now we understand. <laughs> yeah, yeah. There's a lot <laughs> you know? of weird crap coming in here. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So. Yeah, that night and then that little bar was just, it was transcendental. We were all like, 
me and me and Snyder are like going, I do not understand why I'm happy. <laughs> it's just so weird. Yeah. yeah. But it was fun. Yeah. That was the only time I ever saw but, the two but, of them together. What, what, what I was going to say is we never see him either because anytime I turn, uh, I, go, I do him on Zoom, but he turns off the camera. It's really? like he almost does says, I don't want to be seen. I'm hideous. You know, something like that. I don't know. I, I've seen I him. He looks that. fine. But, you know, still wears the same hat and the same leather jacket and everything. He's else. the same guy. Yeah. He's had the same His outfit. His persona for, has not changed. Same outfit for 20 years. Hey, listen, we've yeah. run out of time here, pal. Once All right. again. It's Thursday. Hey, thank you so much. Any old time, buddy. Any old time. Now in its ninth year, this is GabNet, the great American broadcast network. Talk like you've never heard it before. Sorry for that uh, the kind of lousy beginning that I had there, but I, I just was pushing wrong buttons and things like this. This is happening to me a lot. It's enough to make me just kind of give up on the whole thing, but I'll, I'll keep trying as long as I can. As long as you'll keep listening, I'll keep doing these shows. As long as you keep calling, I'll keep doing these shows. But it doesn't look like it right now. It looks like I got one person waiting, a quality person, mind you, but nevertheless, one person. So I don't know uh, what we're going to do here uh, with only one person, uh, but we can, we can see what we're going to do with one person when I bring that one person uh, on here. Let me see. Wait a minute, Charlie's still trying to connect to his audio. Okay. I got Charlie who can't connect to his audio, and uh, let me see here. Uh, let me see. Are we getting anybody else? No, nobody else is calling. What's your problem, Charlie? Can you hear me, Charlie? Charlie can't hear. Oh, there, now, there, there, I am. there you are. There was that delay between the YouTube and that. Once you say you're gonna bring me on, you're already on here. But yeah, I yeah. <clears throat> anyway, I have. A, I think I have a. It's got to be Thursday if I'm the only one waiting. Jeez. You know, I'm. I'm thinking of doing away with Thursdays. I really I can't am. Can't blame you. You know, I mean, why should we do this? You know, you're you're there. You're loyal to the whole thing. Uh, yeah, but I gotta start umpiring next week on Thursday. So. Oh, so then I'll sit here with nobody. <laughs> Uh, it might be, yeah. <laughs> I might just stop doing it on Thursdays. It just yeah. might stop, you know. Either that for a couple of weeks until people decide that they're going to start calling on Thursdays. I, I don't know why Thursdays is this way. Yeah, I can't figure Plus it tonight, out. Plus tonight, tonight, I don't. I've got, I've got. I think I have a cold, but I don't. You know, how you don't. You get that feeling in your nose when you've got a cold. I yeah. don't have that, but I feel like I have a cold. It's strange. But I had a, a, sore, yeah. a sore throat that I got yesterday, which was as a result of eating a raisin Danish that was too hot. And it, it went to, when I swallowed it, it was very, it was pretty hot. When burned I your throat. Huh? Yeah. It burned your throat going Yeah, down. yeah, and it makes you feel like you have a sore throat. Hey, look who's here. At least we, you know, it, we get somebody from Malaysia, you know, oh, will be coming right. in here. Hi, yeah, Bree. there's Bree. Uh, hi, Bree. How you doing, kiddo? Hello, Alex. Are you able to hear me? Yes, I'm able to hear you. Okay, great. Uh, yeah, so I just tuned in and saw that um, Charlie was the only one, so I thought I would call in. Yeah, see, uh, there we go. Oh, that's nice. That yeah, that's much nicer. That better? Yeah, yeah. And right. having my lunch, I just finished salmon and mashed potatoes, mm -hmm. and now I'm, I have a matcha lemonade and a lemon pistachio cake. Where are you calling from, work? Uh, I'm in Malaysia. Yeah, and I'm on lunch break. Well, your lunch break, but you're in your office. No, no, I'm oh. in, uh, I'll show you around. Actually, there was uh, quite a view here earlier. There were a lot of people, but uh, now it's not as much. Yeah. Oh, okay. I see. Oh, okay, but that's your that's your office, right? <laughs> you think that's an office? Oh no, that's the. No. E oh, that's a restaurant. That's a restaurant. Yeah. That's right. It's a restaurant. Oh, okay. Well, eatery. Oh, yeah. okay. Okay. So that's got the view. All right. Live from Malaysia, ladies and gentlemen. It's uh, it's brief. There were more people here earlier. It's a little. I guess it's uh, 
it's Friday, so you never know. What time is it in Malaysia right now? Um, well, what time is it there? Well, it's about uh, oh, uh, 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 11 06. Yeah, so it's 12 06 here. Okay, so you're 13 hours difference, right? Yeah. Okay. So are you are you on daylight savings or not? We're, yet? No, so we're not. Is. We're not. Are you? We don't have that here. But, but, but when you're when you are on daylight savings, then the times are exactly flipped. Yeah, I mean, 12, 12, 12 hours. 12, yeah. 12 well, hours. I remember when I was in China, it was a 12-hour difference, you know. Yeah, my family is in China right now for Chinese New Year. Yeah. I'm here in Malaysia. So. Now, you, you, of course, your parents are Americans, right? Uh, yeah, my American family is in America. What do you mean your American family? What, what's your other family? We have Asian, an Asian family here, there. Well, it's probably he's talking China. Huh? Yeah. In no. China, yes. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Hold he's on. He's got two families. He's got. <laughs> Are you talking about your own personal family that you've acquired as a result of m m marrying somebody? Being an adult. <laughs> yes. Oh, okay. That, All right. right. Okay, we got that straight. Okay, so your parents are American, right? Yeah, there should be a, a word to. You know, I'm sure in other languages they have a word to make that distinction. Because a lot of people will ask me, like, how is your family? Or, and it's like, well, which one? Mine or the one I grew up in? You know? <laughs> you know. <laughs> yeah, okay. All right. No, I'll, I'll buy that. But nevertheless, uh, they're in China, right? Right now? Yeah. How Correct. is it for an American to go to China right now? Um, well, a couple of things, Alex. Um, I, I don't know, I don't know if I qualify, I mean, it's really tough, it's really tough for me to say because I've lived outside of America for so long, yeah. but I still, you know, engage with all the media, so I still feel American, but at, at what point do we, you know, do we become sort of a citizen of the, of Earth, you know, and... Yeah, but that's not the question. I'm, that's not the question I'm asking. Okay. The United States What's has a rather uh, uh, tenuous relationship with China right now. So how is yeah. it for Ameri an American to travel over there? Because I love China. I think it's a wonderful well, country, and I would love to go back there. You know. I think uh, as long as you are reasonable, respectful, rational, you'll be fine. Well, I found that's true anywhere you go. You know. Yeah. Then, then that's true for you there. But I just found... And it helps you. Ni shou zhou wen ma. Hmm? Ni shou zhou wen ma. Yeah, what is that? Ni shou What does that mean? What does that mean? It means learn the language where you go a little bit, and you'll find a lot more smiles when you arrive. Well, I'll tell you one thing. I don't think I'm ever going to learn Chinese. I mean, except for a few few words. I mean, that's a difficult language. All right. Yeah. The Japanese would say Mitsubishi. That's oh, difficult. you're just showing off, okay? <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> you know, I mean, I, I learned a couple of, you know, chi chi uh, Chinese phrases when I was over there, but God knows I can't rem remember them now. Ni hao. Well, like I what? know that, you know. Ni hao. Ni hao ma. Mm-hmm. Yeah, what else did you learn? Shay Shay? No. Shay <laughs> Shay, thank you. No. Shay Shay? Shay Shay. I think I did under learn that, but I, yeah. I've since forgotten. It. You. You're welcome. Yeah. Wait, but I was only there for two weeks. How much Chinese can you learn in two weeks? You know? According to some websites, the entire language. <laughs> really? Yeah. It's, it's so you know all those apps. Duolingo. Yeah. yeah. Now learn Mandarin in two weeks. Yeah. Well, you can learn Mandarin in two weeks? No, uh, they say that. I uh, forget it. You know, I mean, uh, it, it, it didn't make any sense to me. You know, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm an Anglo, okay? So you give me something like Spanish to learn or a little bit of French and stuff like that, I can, I can learn those. But Chinese was just, you know, very difficult. Uh, I had to point to pictures on the menu. Okay, all right. Oh, no. 
And then I didn't even know what I was pointing at because all the food looked like food I never ate before in my life, you know. Hello, Charlene. How are you? Oh, hi, Alex. How are you? <laughs> How's everything in New Jersey? Well, I've got a sore throat tonight. I've got, I got, I got some mm -hmm. kind of gazorch. I know. I don't feel good either, but yeah. I don't know. It's weird in New Jersey as usual. Is there something crazy? I don't know. Some kind of truck where I live went under... No, the car wedged itself under the truck at Home Depot, like on the loading zone, and they don't know how it got under the truck, and they don't know if there was people in the vehicle or something. That's the last I heard on that one, and I was like, isn't that bizarre? <laughs> I, Strange things happen around here. Lots of car accidents. Well, it's New Jersey for crying out loud. What do you? Yeah, what, I know. It's you know. stupid here in New Jersey. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's and the number one state everybody wants to leave. Do you know that? Yeah. Who said what? The armpit of America. The armpit of America. Yeah, well, yeah close, I'll agree. close, I close to here. it. Close to it. You know, New York City. You know, Alex. Oh, sorry. I wanted to ask. You know, tonight, what the hell was Brian eating last night? But now I had, I got to see uh, Bree eating. But Bree, I don't know what the hell he was eating. He's either. eating a sandwich, <laughs> I think. Aren't you, Bree? Yeah. Cake or something. He said, right? Or... Yeah, cake. It was a cake. Oh, okay. Let him eat cake. Lemon oh, pistachio. This place has oh, great. Right. Normally, they have great cakes. Right now, they don't have as many because all the bakeries are all booked for Chinese New Year. So it's very hard for them to get their regular compliments. But, but I asked them last week, please, please, please get the lemon pistachio. And they have it. Oh, so great. it's my favorite cake. I love it. So what? What's what, when's Chinese New Year? Uh, it's coming up uh, 11th and 12th. 11th and 12th. Okay, well, I'll mark that down on my calendar, you know, uh, because, uh, but I'll still be writing Year of the Monkey on my checks, you know. It's, 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 <laughs> <laughs> year of the Dragon. Is it the Year of the Dragon this year? Oh, yeah, that, that's an auspicious year, and it could, could mean a lot of things. And what but was it, you know, what was it last year? Uh, are we coming out of the rabbit? I don't know. I'm not Chinese. I have no idea. Uh, you know. Well, I forget things. I watched Matrix Resurrections yesterday, mm -hmm. and I saw it on Netflix. I couldn't remember if I watched it before. And I'm watching it, and I'm watching, and I'm thinking, how could I miss this? I love the Matrix. How did I miss it two years ago? And then today, I'm thinking, no, maybe I did watch it. So like, oh, I I have that happen all the time now. Where I'm halfway through a movie, and I went. I've watched this before, you know. Um, yeah. Uh, like I was watching uh, I, yesterday. I started watching the last Tarzan movie they made, which was The Legend of Tarzan, which is not a bad picture. You got some good actors in it. Margot Robbie's in it, and Samuel L. Jackson, and you know. But I got about halfway through the movie, and I said, I think I've actually watched this all the way through before. <laughs> You know, but I, yeah. could, I couldn't remember whether I did or I didn't. But I think now that I watched the whole thing, I, you know, I did watch it once before. Yeah, that's the way I felt. Yeah. And this is Matrix Resurrection. So, ironically, it's very meta that I thought I watched it but didn't know if I had. Because that's the whole premise of the whole, you yeah. know. Yeah. The whole set of films. Yeah. But anyway, hello, Kevin. How you doing? Good. How are you? I'm uh, doing all right. You know, I just I feel I feel uh, a little puny tonight. I feel like I have a I feel like I should have a cold, but I don't. All right. Uh, but I like to me, I'm sniffling and everything. And I, but I don't have that. You know how in your nose you get that feeling of a cold like right in here? I don't have that. I just have the sniffling going on. And the fact that I'm feeling a little tired and all of that, but so what else is new? I'm thinking of doing this show at a time that's more convenient to me being awake, like, oh, I don't know, noon? You know. Start hitting that cold calm yeah. stuff and what? It'll go away. Start what? hitting that cold calm stuff. What's cold calm? What's that stuff I you went and got? Didn't you go get it that last time I told you about it? No. What was it? I can't remember now. It's like the Zycam or whatever, cold calm. Yeah, you take a, you take it before you start getting a cold, and it'll knock it out. Oh, oh, well, you know it's also good coldies. 
Yeah, it's kind of like zinc. That, yeah. Yeah, zinc, zinc, yeah, zinc is a very good way to prevent you from getting I'm it. I'm taking this one called, um, called Crisinia, and it comes in these little, um, uh, it's the French word pastilles, I don't know what we call them, gummies. Yeah. And they're 22 uh, fruits and vegetables, and they make a powder drink. So I eat the gummy, and I drink the powder, and they're, very, they're kind of expensive, but I read that these it has the propanols in them, and if you add that with the probiotic, it's supposed to extend your life. So I don't know. Well, has it extended your life so far? Well, so far, so good, right? So far, so good. <laughs> Actually, when I eat them and I take the powder, I feel better that day. Like, I've done it, like, where I didn't take it for a couple of days. Then I took them. Well, you, know what they're, you, know, you know what they're, they're selling now? For people who are really lazy, okay, and have lousy eating habits, they have these little uh, capsules of veg of vegetables and fruits and balance and you, of yeah. nature yeah. balance of nature and you buy these yeah. things and you buy a bottle of them and they're 50 in a bottle and they say take two a day so actually one bottle is only good for 30 days right yeah so uh uh and uh that now they've got fiber they've added fiber to it and i'm thinking to myself Who's so lazy they can't eat like a banana <laughs> or, or, or can't eat grapes? You know, who's that lazy? Vegetables? <laughs> I suggest a carrot, okay? Have fun. Uh, but no, you've got to get them all ground up and then smashed into this little tablet. They're not little, actually. They're pretty big. Has anybody yeah. tried these things? Marjorie, I've seen them, but I never tried it. Marjorie sent away for him, and she's a sucker for it. So she found out by reading in Consumers Research that there was a better company doing this. So now every morning when I wake up, there's a pill by the side of my bed. <laughs> I talk about the pill. Is it goatee? Is it totally goatee? Well, anyway, this does the same thing, but you get all your fruits and vegetables in one pill twice a day. So... For the person that can't stand vegetables, huh? It sounds like the Jetsons. Didn't they have that on the Jetsons or something? Oh, yeah. <laughs> you yeah. don't have to eat it. You just take the pill. Yeah. Take a pill. Yeah. I, 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 <laughs> we're getting awfully lazy, aren't we? Yep. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. I, I, I find that uh, I uh, everybody's getting lazy. So anyway, so. All right. Uh, I, need to, I need to pay here because they're getting busy. Oh. They're starting to get busy. Okay, so he's going to go pay. He's going yeah, to. I don't know if I could get any work done there. There's too many gorgeous Asian women. <laughs> uh, let's see here. Who do we got here? Oh, they've got a, a gorgeous Asian woman there. Oh, yeah. There's the lemon go. pistachio that I got. The, the, oh, the woman isn't the lemon pistachio. That's the food. Okay. I thought her name yeah. was Lemon Pistachio. I don't know. <laughs> Look at those. Those look good. Yeah. 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 They look terrific. And, oh, they, this is nothing. They, they, it, as I said, because of Chinese New Year, there's not a lot. But uh, they'll get some later, you know, after mm -hmm. Chinese New Year. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you'll, you'll, you'll see a lot more. Yeah. Okay. Wow. So give me a minute. I got to use my phone to pay. Okay. Um, can I use it? Grab. I guess you use oh, your phone to, to pay. How many here use your phone to pay now for something? I don't even know how to do it. Really? You don't? Mm -hmm. I, I use it. Do you, Kevin? Yeah. Yeah, I do too. Yeah. The I'm, wallet, Alex, Apple Pay, like wallet? Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I get it. I give it a cab and then uh, it wants you to. So like I, Grab that, Pay? Huh? You know, and then I just. Uh, I, just uh, I just whip out the old plastic card. Well, plastic is good too. Got it. But, you know, it, it's getting even okay. more convenient. Thanks so much. Do, do we have to hear every word he's saying? <laughs> um, okay, sorry about that. I don't know if you were listening. It yeah. was very noisy in there. But I can I can come outside and sit for a little bit. Uh, oh. So do you want to guess the price of my meal? I guess you didn't see what I had. Um, okay, well, tell us what I you had, had, and then we will guess. All right, I had a, I had a grilled salmon. Grilled salmon with, uh, on mashed potatoes okay. with uh, bok choy. 
bok choy, okay. which is a vegetable mm-hmm. and kind of a milky, uh, had kind of like a milky gravy to it. I can't explain. Mm-hmm. Then I had a fizzy matcha lemonade and I had a lemon pistachio cake. Hmm. Well, let me see here. Uh, um, um, hmm. Twelve dollars. How, how, how much would it cost here? Bing, bing, bing. Twelve dollars. You're exactly right, Charlie. Yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> what did you think, Charlie? Whatever it would have cost here, and then you took off twenty dollars. <laughs> Actually, I figured whatever it would cost here, I divided it in half. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So twelve dollars. Twelve bucks. Yeah, and th- this is considered extremely expensive like this is a friday treat for me mm-hmm. <laughs> to spend 12 dollars would be now let me ask you are, are things cheaper in in you're in uh, where, what's the town you're in the city you're well, in well well kuala lumpur i'm in the mm-hmm. south yeah it's funny you should mention that i was just talking to my neighbor today she's uh japanese turkish mix and and she was saying i was telling her i'll be in turkey next month and she said that all the prices were going up there and uh, and then I was talking here uh, to a colleague of mine in Australia who was saying that prices are all going up there. So that I mean, the general feeling is that prices are going up. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> yeah. But my, I bet, uh, yeah. I bet it's nowhere so, yeah, like I it think, is here. I bet it's nowhere like it is here. Um, it all depends on a lot of factors. It, it depends on a lot of factors, but yes, generally speaking, the cost of living is lower here than it would be. It, you know, in the States, but it depends on where you live. I mean, New York is different from Pittsburgh. Yeah. You, know. you bet it's different from Pittsburgh. <laughs> wow, look at this group. There's a huh? big, big group coming in now. This place is going to get packed. Look at this. Oh, wow. Wow. Packed. Okay. Yeah. Look, they look like tourists, are they? No, um, <clears throat> no they're probably students because there's a bunch of schools around here. Oh, okay. Uh, I was so going to say they look yeah. young. Yeah, young. Yeah, they were yeah. young. Yeah. Yeah, but you say that place. But, uh, is, yeah. You say that place is so, pretty expensive. So why would they go to some place expensive? Well, no, because I ordered the most expensive thing. Oh, yeah. okay. You could, you can get the daily special here, and uh, you're only going to pay three or four dollars. Mm-hmm. Okay. Wow. Uh, There's one place uh, just over here. It's literally a dollar, and you get a, pl- a chicken rice you get for a dollar. Really? Yeah. Wow. It comes with a little soup, rice, mm-hmm. and the chicken. Mm-hmm. They chop it right up for you right there. Is the chicken dead? And, uh, yeah. Do you want to see? There's a bunch of places to eat here. Uh, there's a shawarma place up here that's new I really like, a burger joint. Shawarma? Then there's, yeah, shawarma. Mm-hmm. You can get that in Dubai. And there's a there's a... There's an outdoor cafe over there where, oh, it's just great. You can get, you know, dollar here, dollar there. You And usually you go with friends and everybody gets like one or two dishes and then you just put it in the middle and mm-hmm. everybody eats, you know. It's wow. ama- I love when we do that. Family style? Is that family style? Yeah. When everybody just uh, well, takes friends. Oh. Family and friends. Well, if I ever get out your way, you can take me to the good restaurants there. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Me you too. Know. We've got some great <laughs> ones here. Yeah. yeah, but I don't know. I don't know if I if, if I, I even know how to get to Kuala Lumpur. But I guess I can get a travel agent who can get me there. You know. Oh, it's it's easy. There's, I would say, in this in Asia, I'd say Kuala Lumpur is probably one of the, you know, the most transited uh, cities in the world. I, I guess I'd have to look that up. But for Southeast Asia, you definitely you either come through KL or Singapore. And usually KL if you want to save some money. Yeah. Um, Marjorie always wanted to go to Vietnam. You know, she hears that. Oh, love, ve- it. love ve- Vietnam, ve- yeah. Very yeah. nice now. I might, go up, I might go up next weekend. I'm thinking about it. You know, uh, because I, we were in uh, China and we were in Longji province. And I, just re- they, I was just told tonight that that's very close to Vietnam. It's right on the border of China. Okay. It's where the Li River is and all the casks and so yeah. on. And I went to visit there because I always saw that in photographs and thought it was the most beautiful yeah, place I ever it saw. It was beautiful. And it was, it was <laughs> exceptional. Exceptional, you know. I have several friends in Vietnam, uh, Vietnamese and otherwise. Mm-hmm. And uh, I have an open invitation. 
to go anytime uh, in Cambodia as well. Yeah, uh, actually, most of the countries around here. It's amazing uh, you mentioned all, the, all those countries because years, a couple of years ago, we were at war with those countries, and now it's like, well, a couple you know, decades ago. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. But I mean, still, yeah. you know, uh, it's how far we've come in our relationships with those countries. So it's amazing. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Charlie, yeah, uh, what's, the, what's the furthest you've ever been out of the United States? Furthest I've ever been would probably be uh, Puerto Rico. Okay. So you haven't been really out of this hemisphere. I, no, I've barely left. I have never left North America. Oh, okay. All right. Been to Canada, been to Mexico, mm -hmm. been to the Bahamas. How about Bermuda. you? How about you, Charlene? Bermuda. Uh, I've only gone to Mexico. <laughs> yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. And actually, that's almost part of us. Like, it's still on the continent of North America, mm -hmm. right? So it's not mm -hmm. that far, really. Kevin? Canada. Oh, I went to Alaska, which is over Canada. Isn't it amazing? <laughs> how, uh, here we have uh, some fairly, you know, uh, uh, decent Americans here, and you've never traveled beyond, really, uh, mm -hmm. this area. Yeah. Um, it bothers me. I mean, me. the furthest I've ever been has been China. Okay. That's pretty damn that's pretty, far. That's pretty good, Alex. Yeah. Yeah. That's pretty good. I'd love to go to Kuala Lumpur. Yeah. Please come, Charlie. No. We should I all don't should, have an extra. What we should do is all get together and all show up at once on his door. That there's door, an Airbnb that can. Huh? Yeah, there's an Airbnb that can hold 12 people right up the street. Oh. And it's uh, thirty bucks a night, you know. So wow. <laughs> it's oh. pretty nice. <laughs> it's pretty nice. Yeah. So I'll rent it for you, and you can all come. Well, okay. All right. We'll let you know when. <laughs> that that uh, building has it's uh, it's like Little Korea. There's a bunch of Korean uh, restaurants, and there's even a Korean grocery store there, and really nice restaurants uh, in that that building where the Airbnb is. Mm -hmm. And uh, in this read, in this area where I can walk, I think there's something like 182 restaurants, it, it, and they're from all over the world. So like, it's just amazing. Wow. We have all the Gordon Ramsay stuff. You know, we have the street pizza and the the barn Gordon Ramsay bar and grill. We have all the fancy stuff is here. Well, I don't know if that's the height of uh, of, uh, of of civilization. Gordon Ramsay. Uh, that's, true. <laughs> that's true. That's true. Then you want to go to the chicken rice stall on the corner for a dollar. That's your. That'll be our treat. Yeah, but anyway. So uh, anyway, uh, you don't. Are you getting a lot of our news back in the uh, in 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 Malaysia? Are you getting? Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, I, I followed uh, the social media extravaganza at the. Uh, Mm -hmm. Congress, Mark Zuckerberg, and one one of the things that got a lot of play around here was one of the, I mean, they tried to imply that one of the senators didn't know the difference between Singapore and China. He kept grilling the CEO yeah. from yeah, Singapore. Car cotton. Yeah. <laughs> he kept saying, you, really, so you remember the Chinese, Chinese Communist Party? That, that would be like asking... Um, you know, someone in Germany, are you a member of the Republican Party? Like, what? Well, you, know? Well, you know, when I, when I watched, the, watched what little I did of those hearings, I just found a bunch of people who didn't know what they were talking about. You know, they had a bunch of questions probably on a piece of paper that their staff had written for them, but they didn't know what they were asking. You know, well, and if I were if I were Mark Zuckerberg, I would have just looked up at them and go, "Why don't you guys shut up? You don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> you know, you really don't know what yeah. you're talking about." To begin with, what is what the hell do you expect me to do to prevent kids from being preyed upon on my on my social media thing? There's very little that I think that he can do about it. Yeah, yeah. You yeah, except ban yeah. kids from it. You know. Well, I there are definitely things they can do. The, the, the dilemma is that, you know, people are people. <laughs> so, so, you know, no matter what you do, there's, it's never going to quite be fail safe. Any technology um, that is invented or put across like a social media platform is going to be misused. That's our nature. Absolutely. And, you, yep. and what are you going to do to prevent them from misusing it? There's very little you can do. All you can do is when the problems uh, arise, you can arrest the people who do it. 
but you know yep. you can't you can't expect uh, and I, I'm not a big fan of Zuckerberg's but you can't expect him to solve the entire problem and then uh, uh, Jeff what was his name Holly what's his first name Jeff or something like that Holly uh, uh, said to him uh, Josh Holly Josh yeah. Holly why don't you turn around and tell the people there holding the signs how sorry you are for what you've done and yeah. I would have looked back at Holly and said, tell me what I've done, and then I'll be happy to apologize. <clears throat> but I right. haven't done a damn well, thing, you know? Well, the other, the other thing, they're, they're, I guess they're taught by their PR reps to be respectful. It's like you have to go there and you have to get yelled at for a couple of hours, and then it'll I, all I be over, me. and that's my, what you My do. feeling would be because, you have no right to yell at me, and if you yell at me, I'm going to yell back at you. Okay. You know, they got power. They can tax you or put some levy. Some. I doubt that they're going to do that. Uh, I doubt that they have no, the power to do that. Zuckerberg has all the lobbyists. You know, all those. They all have all the lobbyists. So they'll, they'll, they show one face in the hearing, then they go back and it's election time. And guess who's going to? They're going to rely on for the funding. Well, every you know? year, every year they bring these guys up before a committee, and every year nothing gets done. Okay. Yeah. Nothing. They yeah. go. Oh yes, we'll do whatever we can. Goodbye. We'll see you again next year, and yep. have to make the same excuse. Exactly. You know. Exactly, Alex. And yeah. and it's all about they're trying to score points. Uh, you know, watching those things, it, the the senators just they they ask a question, and before the person can even begin to start to answer, they're on to the next question. And it's like, well, wait a minute. Give the guy a minute. You know, and that, because then. They know he's going to read from his prepared statement. Then why are we doing this dance? Yeah. You know, yeah. The, here they it, have you know, a statement it's an absolute, that they say, it's lie an, on, lie on. It's an absolute it scam. Means, uh, and what I'm sick of are, are these guys. What I'm really sick of is that we always turn around and say, uh, "What? What? why are the flashing lights going on at uh, Kevin's place? Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, what is that? I'm <laughs> installing a light. I can't see this. Uh, you're installing a light? No, that's okay, Kevin. We we don't mind watching it. You know. Uh, I can't see. I see people as you talk. Yeah, but anyway, let me uh, let me just say what I was going to yeah, say but, is so that I, I'm sick. Crazy. I'm sick of every time they do something, they say it's for the children. You know, the children are in trouble. The children are being affected by this. And I just, you know, I got sick and tired of them always referring to the kids. The, the job of Mark Zuckerberg is to, turn, to have a social platform and to make sure that that social platform is, uh, is safe for everybody, okay? But also, his job is not to raise your kid. Your job is to raise your kid. We were talking about this last night with Kevin. Yeah, I agree with You know, mine. and... and uh, don't suddenly go, well, you know, we got, we're doing this for the kids. You've got to shut this down for the kids. No. Why don't you tell the parents, do your goddamn job. You had right. these kids, and, you know. And, Alex, the other point that one of the senators was making, I, I don't know if they're senators or Congress, uh, you know. Uh, they don't know said, what uh, they are. They said, uh, oh, and, you know, TikTok uh, in the States, it's all uh, murder and mayhem. And then the Chinese version is all STEM and math and sciences. Well, well, that's not their fault, you know. It, yeah. It's <laughs> it, it, so we should say, well, yeah. So China has a has a policy that on social media that seems to be working. Maybe you ought to consider it. Well, all of but, the you know, all of these social media sites uh, are what they are because of the people who contribute to them. Yes. Okay. Correct. And what's ever good about them is because of the people contributing to them, and whatever's bad about them is exactly the same. Uh, how dare they say that about? Uh, TikTok. I wish I got horrible stuff. All I get are little kitties playing with each other. Right. You know? right. The uh, cat Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, wait, you, you ever been out of the country, uh, um, 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 uh, Alan? Yes. What's What's the furthest you've been out of this country? Canada. See. He's like yeah. me. I've been to Canada. Were I've you drafted? I've been. I've been to Mexico. Yeah. Was everybody draft dodging in Canada or something? <laughs> no, no. Oh, sorry. I, I tried to make a joke too. On, on a cruise. It was beautiful. I mean, the two best countries I visited, I loved uh, Spain. I love Spain. And uh, China. 
China was oh, Ibiza. just. Oh, Is that still the same thing? Ibiza? Oh, Ibiza. Yeah. You know, mm-hmm. I, I went there years ago, not now. I wouldn't even st- go there now in not Spain. Uh, but I, I always loved Ibiza for years. I, that's where I traveled oh, to. Ibiza. And there was nobody there. I mean, it, you could shoot a cannon through the place, and there was nobody there. Did you there. take a pill in Ibiza? Huh? Did I take a did what? Show, did you take a Did you take a pill in Ibiza to show the VG you were cool? Oh, I thought you meant the Dormadinas. <laughs> you know that song? What? By Mike Posner. Mm-hmm. I took a pill in Ibiza. I saw the VG I was cool. I get along with old times because my name's a reminder of a pop song people forgot. You don't know that song? Boy, you hear oh, music yeah, I never heard. It was like number one for weeks. I liked it though. It was good. <laughs> Where was it number one though? Yeah. yeah. It was a good song. Hey, he Alan. took a pill on a beast. Yes, Alan. Did you lose your taste buds during COVID? Uh, no. Oh, okay. no. I lost mine yesterday. They're starting to come back today a little bit. Well, then you probably didn't lose them mm-hmm. much. You know, some people lose them for months. No, yes. Yeah. You know. What's that long COVID thing? What's that? And let's talk about something else. I'm sorry I brought it up. It, no, it's called long haul. Long haul COVID. Because it's, it lasts for months. And, months I, and months. I think I may have had long haul and still have it. I'm tired all the time. Yeah, you know? Could be. And, I, have, I have COVID, Shirley. So. I know. I'm sorry, Alan. Yeah. I, I, I'm serious. You're you know, still feeling I, sick? I, Thank you. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's getting better day by day, little by little. You know, I they won't give, better, right? they won't give me the Paxlovid. They won't give me the Resdesivir, and so really, yeah, That's and, so- you know, be, being a big guy and being sixty five makes me a little nervous. But if I'm getting better, chances are low that I'm not that it's not going to turn severe. So. Well, they never went- want to give you anything, Al- uh, Alan. Well, why won't they give you Paxlovid? Yeah, uh, because he's got too, too many pills that he's taking that go in conflict with it. Yeah. Oh, I see. Uh, I see. If you're taking, uh, if you're taking, I, I was asked to stop taking my uh, cholesterol pill. Uh, yeah. When I took I, it. Yeah, yeah, but you only have to take it for five days. Yeah, yeah but you only have to take it for five days. Stop taking that for five days, right? Well, one of them, one of them was my asthma medicine, and I had oh, to, I, I would have that. to stop taking it for two weeks, <laughs> even oh, though no. the Paxlovid was only five days. Well. You know, I, I'm breathing okay without, you know. Because the Paxlovid works really well, you know. Yeah, but you know what? They're, they're getting a lot of people that are getting this uh, rebound, and you can't take it again. And uh, with the newest variant that's out, you know, they, they, they think about 40% are getting rebound. Mm-hmm. And I have several friends that got over it, and two days later they were back to being sick again. So, And mm-hmm. the people that don't wow. take these antivirals, don't get the rebound. I don't know. Well, the rebound. Nothing, nothing's perfect. Yeah, nothing's perfect. But I, I, I didn't get a rebound, and I took uh, Paxlovid. D- different variant. Different what? He says a different COVID variant. Yeah, COVID variant. Well, I don't know. Yeah. So where's Bree at junior high well, or what? I, I don't know, no. but every time he walks down the street, occasionally a woman walks by, and they're all gorgeous in that part of the world. Yeah. yeah. Or is it just my imagination? No, no, you're absolutely right, Alex. Where are all the fat, ugly Asians for crying out loud? <laughs> they, they, they Very are... rare. Yeah. Very rare. Yeah. But it's I mean... Kung Fu Panda. <laughs> so where are you going now, Bree? You going back to your office or are you going back to your apartment? No, no. Or... Uh, I'm going to go to my office, but I'm kind of giving you a walking tour, showing uh-huh. you the Chihuahua place, and I'll show you the outdoor cafe. That's mm. really nice. Is there a strip club you can throw in there, Bree? <laughs> no, no, we don't have that. Hello. What do you sell here? Oh, dumplings. Okay. Oh, I love dumplings. Great. I'll tell you, there's some gorgeous women there. Oh, you <laughs> bet. I was going to say gorgeous dumplings, but you know, ever since the pro- <laughs> ever since the prostate it. operation, I I really don't care anymore. <laughs> you know, so the dumplings look better to me. Uh, but uh, look, you see, I mean, they all look pretty. Wow. Least... No, no, go back to her. <laughs> <laughs> I Thanks, can't believe you didn't buy the dumplings. I thought he was going to buy some. If they're cheap and everything, I would have. Uh, I was going to have him buy I some and send them. 
I just had a huge meal, Charlene. Oh, I'm sorry. I'll tell you. Okay, I'll tell you. Buy, a, buy me a twelve dollar meal. <laughs> buy me a couple of dumplings and put them in an envelope and mail them to me. Right. Let's see how it is once it gets here. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it did look good though, didn't it? I might try it next time. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, look at that nice green car. What is that? <laughs> it's a it's a green car. Mm -hmm. It looks like a, a Japanese, like you know, an American type Japanese car, like. Yeah. Yeah. Not a Tesla, though, right? <laughs> right, right. But there's where, it, it was. Where there... is Bree at? Mm -hmm. Kuala Lumpur. Oh, he's, he's in Kuala Lumpur. Yeah, which is in Malaysia. Right, right. right. That's such a cool name, Kuala Lumpur. <laughs> which it means, is just, you know what it means? It's... No, what does it mean? It means muddy river. Muddy oh, river. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I come from the city of Three Rivers. And now I live in the city of Muddy River. Now, wait a minute. Is their river muddy? It is. <laughs> it is. Oh, okay. All right. Just well, it often is, yeah. So I'm taking you to the um, the outdoor cafe. It's called Rock Cafe. It's really cool. This is where a lot of the, you know, people will come because you can get a dollar meal here. And, you know, everybody gets... If you have eight people and you all spend a dollar, you have a huge meal, you know? Can I list this Beautiful program cards. as a travelogue? Oh, shit. Hmm. <laughs> what? But my uh, my friend... Oh, uh, there's a little kidney, so cute. What? Look at that, and there's one there, too. Where? Where? I can't see him. You're going to have to go closer. It's a black cat or something underneath the blue, uh, whatever. It looks like a skunk. <laughs> well, that's just... He's taking a pee. Oh, the so kitty's cute. taking a pee. Oh, no, no I see so. Yeah. Oh, it's so tiny. Oh, I don't. Yeah. I can't see him. I can't. Dude. I, oh it's my god. Oh, I'm gonna. It's I'm gonna adopt that. We have... you. Oh no no. <laughs> no. Hey, where's the black cat mommy? There. You see? There's the black cat. Maybe that's the mommy. You mean we went oh, all the way to Malaysia go. just to yeah. see a cat? Oh, there we go. <laughs> Go, go closer to that one. Go closer to that one. That, that's a black one, right? Yeah, I have a black cat at home. But that little uh, tortoise shell, I kind of like. Oh, I yeah. think I might yeah. adopt that one. Yeah, poor yeah. thing. Aw. Yeah. So this is Rock Cafe. <clears throat> uh, is it better like this or like this, Alex? Like that. It's better like that way. Well. Yeah. It's better like that. Okay. Yeah. So, yeah, this is where a lot of people will come for lunch. It's... Uh, you know, it's relatively inexpensive. And if you get a couple of people together, you can share, you know, you can share the cost of the meal. Oh, really? Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, well, yeah. Um, in a couple of weeks, uh, um, today, my friend Lori Thompson, who does the show, left for uh, Brazil for Carnival. Okay. Oh, okay. And uh, she's going to uh, do, we're going to do some episodes of our thing with her. In uh, from uh, from Rio de Janeiro, so wow. yeah, oh, that'll be nice. Yeah, I wish well, I could find this kitten again. I might adopt this little bugger. <laughs> what do you mean? Yeah, where did he go? Uh, what's the where difference between is? adopting and kidnapping? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, my God. God. mommy. Already. Oh my gosh, they are so cute. I mean, you think like it's not? Uh, we just lost Bree's picture there. Yeah, uh, uh, I'm taking pictures of the of the kittens. Ah, and this one is so cute! Wow, these two, I really like them. Watch out, kitties! Run, run, <laughs> run, <laughs> run away, run away! <laughs> yeah. oh, so, so any, to, anybody see anything on the news today that uh, that floated your boat at all? No, you didn't see it. Because I don't That's watch fun. the news anymore. I'm sick of it. Yep, same mm -hmm. here. I'm sick of it, yeah, and they, really say, they say the American public is getting sick of it. They're getting sick of this whole uh, election cycle. What I, what, oh, I hate, yeah. what I hate is when somebody's injured or lost a family member in a war, you brought this up, Alex, too. They get in there and do a close-up of them crying and over their loved ones. Cut the camera. Have some feelings for well, these people. They may say something for two minutes before that. But they will yeah. keep the cameras rolling till they cry, you know. And I just yeah. think that's exploitation of human beings. I think it's absolutely. horrible. Absolutely. Yeah, it's absolutely true. Yeah. 
Uh, you know, Alex, it looks like, I mean, I don't know, but Nikki Haley looks like she could uh, gain some momentum. I don't, I don't know. They say oh, that I she's not. So. They say that she's got yeah. problems in her own home state. of. Uh, yeah, but all the news clips I'm seeing are saying how she would be, uh, she would be Biden by, you know, seven or eight points. Whereas you know Trump would lose by three or four points. I, I don't know. Well, I think she's. I think she certainly uh, has a better shot of beating Biden than, than Trump does. I mean, Trump's yeah, for, Trump, Trump's got too much baggage. You know, right. for and, Republican, yeah. she's probably the best, most qualified. Except the Republican Party yeah. will never nominate her because she's a woman and she's a woman of color. Yeah. Well, uh, do, do you really, do, when happened. you look at Nikki Haley, does she just shout and scream color? No, and she doesn't shout and scream either. Yeah, but I mean, they, 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 I don't, you, you know, I know she's, it, her, one of her parents is from India, right? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But she doesn't look it. She just no. kind of looks. She looks Caucasian. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, well, that makes her acceptable, of course, to well, the MAGA people. I, I mean, are any of these. Are any of these uh, court cases going to be uh, determined before the election? Like, could, could Trump face jail time in New York before the election? Well, New York, he's could not. Could he be disqualified? New York, New York, he's not facing any jail time. He's facing mm -hmm. losing okay. his business license here in New York yeah. and his yeah. ability to uh, own okay. businesses in New York. Good. Uh, uh, okay. Yeah. Uh, and he's probably going to lose that one, at least uh, by, by, the, by the decision. In fact, the decision has already been made. He's lost it already. They're just trying to determine how much money he's going to have to pay. Yeah. Yeah. The, uh, the, yeah. E, e. Carol, whatever her name is, they're going to change the name of Trump Tower to her. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, you know, if he doesn't pay her, they can sue him uh, and 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 hold back his assets. And start seizing his assets. Start assets. seizing his assets like crazy. So. Good. Who Let knows go what's going to happen? You know, I quite frankly, unless he steals it from his contributors, he doesn't have, you know, eighty-eight million dollars. Nope. Nope. Right? So, or is it eighty-three? I can't remember now. You know. Well, the, it was eighty-three plus the five million that he already lost. Yeah. 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 He hasn't had to pay that out yet, though, because it's under appeal. Yeah. They ought to. They had to take it and put it in the bank. Well, wallet. they they, they took did. the they you have to put it in escrow. In the That's yeah, that. the E. Jean Carroll, the first one, oh, the five million, was put in uh, escrow. In trust. Oh, yeah, okay. he had to he had to put it up. Oh, I didn't know that. And okay. he probably is going to have to put this amount up. Yeah. It you know. I get, I get my Alex. Yes. Uh, By the way, Bree, Bree, we, we, we don't have a picture from you. Oh, really? So you've been missing a lot because, boy, I have been... Well, thank you for telling us we've been missing a lot. <laughs> yeah. There, turn it sideways. Turn, turn it, it off sideways. To photograph the cats, and you never yeah. turn it back on. Yeah, turn it sideways. Oh, I didn't notice that. Sorry. Yeah. I yeah. didn't know that. Wow, I've been uh, giving you a nice story. But here's my question. Um, so Trump is accused of, you know, this shenanigans with uh eg carroll whatnot mm -hmm. and the fine is 83 million or something yeah but didn't oj simpson was convicted of killing people and his was 33 million so <laughs> i mean uh explain that to me well they started they, they 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 went and uh took his assets and yeah. uh and, and attached his assets yeah, uh, well, I see. So they couldn't. Uh, there were certain things he they couldn't assess because they're not. They, they can't be gotten in a case like that. Retirement, retirement, things like uh, that. Yeah, and uh, Trump just disrespected the court. Yeah, so they find him even more because of that. Absolutely. Well, I mean, he certainly. Excuse me, I have to use the tissue again. Uh, he certainly uh, uh, wasn't being very smart. All right. I mean, really dumb. Yeah. Uh, and um, but it, it's it's uh, it's going to be interesting what happens in the next couple of months. How many of these things actually go to court? What you're thinking about the uh, Washington thing uh, and the uh, uh, stealing of documents from the government, yeah. and there's mm -hmm. also the case in Georgia, which yeah. is really immune from anything he can do about it. He can't. 
uh, he can maybe do some kind of something to stop the others because they're federal cases if he gets elected. But if he gets yeah. elected, he can't get rid of the, uh, uh, the uh, Georgia thing because it's a state jurisdiction. Mm. So. Yeah, so I, I, it's going to be interesting to see. But I think the more that he's in the news for the cases, the more his supporters will support him. And, well, but I, I think it, Nikki Haley is a good option. Well, I, I think she's a very good option, and I think she's somebody that could give Biden a run for his money. Uh, yeah. Uh, I, you know, the thing with, with Trump, it's just very silly. I mean, I just don't understand why anybody would, yeah. would, would follow him. You know, at this point, it's got too yeah, much baggage. I, I think it, hmm? Yeah, I think it's it's still the same. It's uh, it's a middle finger to the system. You know, yep. people are just fed up with everything. They figure, hey, it can't get much worse for me. Hey, so let's it, go it, ahead it and could do get this. it could get terrible for them. It could yeah. get this could be this could be <laughs> I don't the, realize this could be the death knell for democracy in America. You know, and yeah. he I, once he becomes president again, he's never going to want to leave. You know, he's going to want to become like a dictator. Yeah. You know. Um, Could you imagine Nikki Haley uh, uh, in a debate with Biden? Oh my gosh. She would run circles around him. Well, he yeah. wouldn't be able to get out two words. Yeah. Well, she's so much younger, too. Yeah. Well, I mean, that yeah. has a lot to do with it. As somebody, uh, who was it? I Again, I keep quoting somebody, and I never can remember his name offhand. The guy was... Uh, 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 um, the uh, Cl the Clinton uh, guy who helped him get elected, uh, the mouth from the South, James Carville. James Carville. Yeah. He oh. said that anybody younger than either Trump or Biden could r run and absolutely win without even breathing hard. Yeah, I uh, think he's right. Oh, you know. What? Nikki Haley's hoping for that, isn't she? Well, she's hoping for that, but I don't know yeah. that she's going to get the nomination because the Republican Party thinks Donald Trump is the bee's mm -hmm. knees, and I can't figure out why. Why? Yeah. You, you know, if I well, any any any, any, any politician who had that much baggage back in my day, my day a couple of years ago, couldn't possibly get elected, and now he, this, you know, what I'm seeing now on the YouTube clips. And this has only been in the last 48 hours. The push is Nikki Haley's the one. This is from the news media. Uh, the, all the, the, they're showing all the polling. They're, she's doing a lot more interviews. The push is, it seems to me, I would say mainstream news media. I haven't seen anything from Fox, so I'll have to yeah. see there. But I know from CNN, they're saying, well, hey, everybody, let's go with Nikki Haley. Uh, that's... These are just the clips I'm seeing. Well, no, they tried to do that with Ron DeSantis, and that didn't work. I want you to think it'll work with Nikki Haley. Because Ron DeSantis is a train wreck, and Nikki <laughs> Haley's not. Well, she She's, happens uh, to she, she she happens to be attractive, which is important, no matter what you say. Would well, you disagree with me on that, Charlene? Oh God, as a woman, um, <laughs> I hate to be like that and say it should be. You know what someone looks like, but I, I think it does help. Oh, believe balance. me, it's all oh, optics. Helps optics all the are you know yeah, right. very important. She she's mm -hmm. got all the elements that would make her a great candidate in the Democratic Party, but she's a Republican. Yeah. You know what I mean? Mm. Well, you go to these Trump rallies, you have all these women saying they don't think women should be the president, so they're never yeah. going to vote for a woman. Why, why shouldn't a woman be president? That's the one I never could get. I don't know either, but these are women saying that at the Trump rally. I know. Trump has a lot of women like that, right? Their husbands tell them maybe or something. Why Why yeah. would a woman vote for Trump after all this? I don't Trump understand. Trump? Yeah, especially what he... He's a convicted well, I guess rapist. I guess right? they believe in rape, I guess. Yeah, rape, yeah. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah. I mean, it's just amazing to me the yeah. way they're... Well, they're, you know... You know when you go into a store, mm -hmm. you know, a uh, candy store, there's a thousand candies, but there's two or three that you like. So you focus on this. Trump says so many things so often about so many things that he's like an Escher painting. It, it, yeah. Anybody that looks at him, they can see whatever they want. So they only see it's like selective uh, perception. I only see the thing about him that I like. 
and I disregard everything else. But here, here's, the, here's, the thing I, here's, the, here's the thing I don't get, Bree, about uh, these Republicans. When I see them being mm -hmm. interviewed, they say, well, I'm voting for Trump because he gets things done. And, and he's, he's for the kind of things that I'm for. And then I say, tell me what he's for. You know, he never goes out and gives a speech and talks about what he's going to do for the country. He just nope. talks about what, what's being done to him. Yeah. You know, well, that's all he was, on, he was on how many seasons of The Apprentice where it constantly, they edited it out so it always looked like he was getting things done. Yeah. And he was in charge and he knew what he was doing. So that perception was there for uh, 10 years. People were Yeah, told, but once he was president, once he was history. president, tell me something he did. Yeah. You know? Something that benefited me. You know, that's that's why most all. people vote. They're very selfish. They yeah. vote their own agenda. Tell me what he did for you. He did nothing. All he did was do stuff for him. You know, and his the pals. The thing he did was the tax cut. And that was for the rich. Yeah. yeah, that didn't save me any money, Charlie. Yeah. Didn't well, save I keep coming back. He didn't start any wars that I know of, or did he? Didn't save <laughs> me any, any money. It didn't save me any money he, either. He, he so. did have some military action, but he um, killed that Iranian general that almost started World War Three. Yeah, yeah. You know, he wouldn't know how to handle this whole situation go. now. He'd be horrible at it. Oh you know. yeah. Anyway. Hey, listen, I think I, I'm going to start playing the theme here, which most of you never can hear it anyway, but what the hell, you know? But um, um, another night talking about Trump, you know? Uh, but I agree, Nikki Haley would be the Republicans' best bet, but they don't know what's good for them. So, you know. She might be the default. You might be surprised. Let's see. Well, we'll see what happens. I just think that there's too many people at the Republican Party who are against her. You know, they're all sucking the, I, I, the I, teat I'm, of, of... I'm coming Coke, around. The I'm Coke, coming around to Nikki Haley. Yeah. The Koch brothers that have a lot of money and usually support, like they've supported Trump, this year, they supported Nikki Haley. They gave her tons of money. Yeah, yeah. they hate but Trump. They, they hate Trump. They absolutely the hate Trump. Absolutely. Anyway, hey, listen. South Carolina. Uh, what? Oh. The polls say she won't even win South Carolina, her home state. Well, well, let's see what happens. We'll have to see what happens. You know, yeah. they, mm -hmm. oh, there's always a surprise sometimes. So maybe we'll get a surprise yeah. this time. Anyway, oh, that's it. That's it for here. My nose is dripping now like crazy. Yeah. And I, but I don't have a cold. I don't get it. It might be allergies in the house. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. hey, thank I you, Charlie. Allergies. Thank you, Charlie. Appreciate it. Uh, uh, Bree, great for you to be with us for the whole hour that we do this yeah. part of the show. Uh, Charlene, good to see yeah. you again. And you, too, uh, Alex. you look healthy and happy, and you know, that's good. Uh, thank you very much, Kevin, for being here this evening. As always, Jeff, you haven't said much of anything, but hey, it's always good to have you just sitting there watching us, watching you. Yeah, uh, I came a little late, but that's good. Yeah, that's fine. And I'm of course, uh, Alan, thank you as well. Why don't the rest of you all give a big wave goodbye, and I'll give a big wave goodbye at you, okay? There they go, ladies and gentlemen, and uh, let me see here. Let me bring my camera in. That's it for now. Next is... Uh, uh, Amy Manuel with The Intersection. She'll be taking your calls at GabNet Live on Skype. I'll see you again tomorrow, same time, same station in life. In the meantime, as always, if you see her, tell her I love her, okay? Bye-bye, everybody.